bless. 2018, and Wayne P. Podbielski, Podbielski, 2019. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them, and may their souls and the souls of all the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Good morning, everyone. <clears throat> Our Mass intentions for today, Reggie Less, Joan Scheib, and Charlie White. And we begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. <clears throat> As we gather on this feast of St. Maria Goretti, may we call to mind our sins and ask God for forgiveness. Lord, for those times that we fail to give in to temptations, Lord, have mercy. For the times that we fail to forgive others and to accept their forgiveness, Christ, have mercy. And for those times that we fail to appreciate the mercy of God himself, Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us now pray. O oh God, author of innocence and lover of chastity, who bestowed the grace of martyrdom on your handmaid, the Virgin St. Maria Goretti, in her youth. Grant, we pray, through her intercession, that as you gave her a crown for her steadfastness, so we too may be firm in obeying your commandments. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen.
A reading from the book of Genesis. In the course of the night, Jacob arose, took his two wives with the two maidservants and his eleven children, and crossed the ford of the Jabbok. After he had taken them across the stream and had brought over all his possessions, Jacob was left there alone. Then some man wrestled with him until the break of dawn. And when the man saw that he could not prevail over him, he struck Jacob's hip at its socket, so that the hip socket was wrenched as they wrestled. The man then said, Let me go, for it is daybreak. But Jacob said, I will not let you go go until you bless me. And the man asked, what is your name? And he answered, Jacob. And then the man said, you shall no longer be spoken of as Jacob, but as Israel, because you have contended with divine and human beings and have prevailed. Jacob then asked him, do tell me your name, please. And he answered, Why should you want to know my name? With that, he bade him farewell. Jacob named the place Peniel. Because I have seen God face to face, he said, yet my life has been spared. At sunrise, as he left Peniel, Jacob limped along because of his hip. And that is why, to this day, The children of Israel do not eat the sciatic muscle that is on the hip socket, inasmuch as Jacob's hip socket was struck at the sciatic muscle. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In our responsorial psalm, In justice I shall behold your face, O Lord. In justice justice I shall behold your face, O Lord. Lord. Hear, O Lord, a just suit, a outcry. Hearken to my prayer from lips without deceit. In justice I shall behold your face, O Lord. From From you let my judgment come. Your eyes behold what is right, though they test my heart, searching it in the night. Though you try me with fire, you shall find no malice in me. In justice I shall behold your face, O Lord. I call upon you, for you will answer me, O God. Incline your ear to me and hear my word. Show your wondrous mercies, Savior, O Savior of those who flee from their foes. In justice I shall be hail your foes, O Lord. Hide me in the shadow of your wings. In justice I shall behold your face. On waking I shall be content in your presence. In justice, I shall behold your face, O Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. I am the good shepherd, says the Lord. I know my sheep, and mine know me. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. A demoniac who could not speak, was brought to Jesus. And when the demon was driven out, 
the mute man spoke. The crowds were amazed and said, nothing like this has ever been seen in Israel. But the Pharisees said, he drives out demons by the prince of demons. And Jesus went around to all the towns and villages, teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom and curing every disease and illness. At the sight of the crowds, his heart was moved with pity for them because they were troubled and abandoned like sheep without a shepherd. And then he said to his disciples, the harvest is abundant, but the laborers are few. So ask the master of the harvest to send out laborers for his harvest. The Gospel of the Lord. We gather today on this feast day of a beautiful young girl, 12 years old. She was poor, her family was poor, living in Italy. And she was only 12. And a neighbor in his high teens was about to rape her. And she fought him off and he stabbed her to death. It is she that we honor today. We look at her life, Maria Goretti, and she is certainly a poster child for all our young people today, as well as the older people. To bring back a sense of modesty, a sense of love, a sense of taking care of our bodies as temples of God himself. You and I are walking, living tabernacles. And I believe Maria believed in that as she protected her virginity. The young man's name was Alessandro. And he went to prison, of course. This all happened back in 1902, 120 years ago, about. And while in prison, he received a dream in which Maria did two things, urged him to find the Lord in his life and let him know that she forgave him. How powerful, how beautiful, how Christian, how Christian, Alessandro. He had converted, he was sorry, he put his time in prison and now he was there at the Pope proclaimed his victim a saint in the Catholic Church. We gather today to honor her and to thank her for her courage, for her ability to say no to sin. It wouldn't have been her sin, it would have been his, but she did not want to be violated. We are all tempted to sin, are we not? And the temptation in itself is not sinful. It's when we give in to it, which Maria did not. So we gather today to say thank you to Maria Goretti. And maybe when you're tempted, say a prayer to her, not just on her feast day today, but throughout the year, that she continued to be known. And maybe as you hear this story today, take it home, share it with your kids, your grandchildren, nephews and nieces, they have to hear good stories within the church. Yes, it ended in tragedy, but she, in victory, is in the kingdom of heaven. Saint Maria Goretti, pray for each one of us.
Let us now pray. Lord God, we have heard the words of Holy Scripture this morning in both the Old and New Testaments, and the story, the tragic story, or the victorious story of Maria Goretti, that each one of us may continue to live out the best we can the Ten Commandments, we pray to the Lord. That you and I, as adults, will be wonderful role models for the young people in today's mixed-up world, we pray to the Lord. Lord. Animate your church's efforts to uncover, address, and stop the abuse that goes on, we pray to the Lord. Lord. Help us to end the production of nuclear and chemical weapons, we pray to the Lord. And for all the victims in Surfside, Florida, and for their families, and for all our faithful departed, we pray to the Lord. Lord, for these many said and unsaid petitions, we come before you today, and we know that you will hear our prayers. Please, may we accept your response, however and whenever it may come. And all this we ask, through Jesus, our Lord, our brother, and our best friend. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For through your goodness, we have this bread to offer you fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. It will become the bread of life. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness, we have this wine to offer you, fruit of the vine, a work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Lord, wash away my iniquity, and cleanse me of my sins. My brothers and sisters, pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the offerings that we bring in celebration of St. Maria Goretti win your gracious acceptance, O Lord, we pray, just as the struggle of her suffering and passion was pleasing to you. All this we ask through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for the blood of your blessed martyr, Maria Goretti, poured out like that of Christ to glorify your name shows forth your marvelous works by which in our weakness you perfect your power and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so, with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly here on earth 
and before your majesty, without end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. <coughs> you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with our Holy Father, Pope Francis, our Bishop, Edward, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. And have mercy on all of us, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with her husband, Saint Joseph, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Maria Goretti, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us now pray with confidence to our Heavenly Father and the words that Jesus gave to us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await blessed hope, 
and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you. My peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with all of you. And please, may we share that peace with one another. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. May the receiving of your body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, not bring me to judgment and condemnation, but three be mercy be for me, protection of mind and body, and a healing and remedy. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. May the blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. Our prayer of spiritual communion. I wish my Lord to receive you with the purity, humility, and devotion with which your most holy mother received you and with the spirit and fervor of the saints. Amen. For the body of Christ.
Let us now pray. <coughs> o oh God, who bestowed on Saint Maria Goretti a crown among the saints for her twofold triumph of virginity and martyrdom, grant, we pray, through the power of this holy sacrament, that bravely overcoming every evil, we too may attain the glory of heaven. All this we ask through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, loving and serving God and one another. Thanks be to God. Thank you all. Have a great day. <laughs> Have a good trip out to uh, Oregon. Oregon, you will? Yeah. <laughs> God bless.